Why are you Plague Bearer? This unit starts combat permanently diseased. Why are you permanently diseased? I, why did I recruit you? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Gracie and this is episode 8 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4 as Chef Gobble the Goblin. So we are currently annexing different sorts of layers into our province, our city, so we can get lots of um, these rally points because we are going to start popping units out from there with plus two rank. So that'll that'll give us a bit of an advantage with those sort of random units there. So let's see, what are we working on here? We're, we're low on money again. Our income in mana is not great. So it'd be good to get that income up even though we're sitting at a pretty good number, but we can, we can put that off a little while, do that next. Looks like we're waiting there. Um, you are headed across to do, gosh, I don't know, something. You're headed over here for some reason. I don't remember what I'm doing with you. I think I was going to make armies and go down there. That's right. That's right. There's a big, a big battle about to ensue down below. Um, so you're just going to wait there. I need to be producing units. We are. This city needs something to build walls the city is pretty well protected where it is but it has no fortification at all so if something does attack it it would just instantly fall so i guess we'll build the walls just for safety just in case a, a random marauder decides to get a little crazy and attack the city itself okay here we go center stake this is um what why do i want to call her aquila Artica. Artica's capital is right here. So this is very siegeable from the water, which is quite nice. I can actually, if I wanted to go straight for her, I could set sail, just go up this passage, this straight here, and just embark, disembark here and attack. Um, I don't have to slog through her other cities and stuff on the way, which is interesting. Obviously, this character is probably going to die eventually to her because he's real close. But maybe that would be a good idea um, to start getting ready to attack if she does something like that. So we have our other scout here. Let's just get as much vision as we can. And then you, I can't go up here at the moment. Let's just go in here. A mine. Okay. I'm going to pop that scout onto auto because I don't want to deal with them anymore. Alligator meat has produced a market so let's see or not a market two farms we can build the boosted market oh no he's got this one here okay if we build a farm oh he's touching me here so i don't really want to piss him off anymore but i do i don't want him getting into this area so i'm probably going to grab this oh god that's tough that's tough. I think I'm going to grab this farm, actually. I'll block him off this way. And now we can get this boosted market. Which will make us 15 gold income. Still takes 8 turns, but at least it's cheap. What's our production here? Very low. Very low production and draft. Yeah, it's just a farming settlement right now. And annex another province in. So this is this will be Glutton Bays, I think. We could get more mines and stuff, though I probably need to get, like, quarries as well. Um, but I do need the cash. Just grab the mine. Fanatical workforce. Heal army. Is this something... It might be good to have that sort of sitting in the queue in case of an emergency. And then if I need to dump a spell out of the queue so I can have enough... Because you only have two spell slots. Um, I could just cast fanatical workforce and then have availability for something else you're angering me gobble i know i'm so sorry buddy i don't i don't know what to tell you um i might declare friendship with him just to ease tensions a little bit because i did sort of forward settle him i gotta build a third farm in the next 17 turns that should be easy Foreign Wonders, your builders at Experimental Cuisine request your support. The apprentices from our guild are crestfallen, their master craftsman exclaims. 
On their journeys through the empire of Dafaldia, they have witnessed the elaborate worksmanship and monumental building in Solemnia. They now dream of equal grandeur, but our, our own means are limited. Will you back their ambitions to increase productivity at experimental cuisine? Um, I wish I had that. Let's see here. I could pay money to get a bunch of production. Uh, finishes the walls. Um, I mean, this is just, I don't understand how this isn't just paying to expedite the process. It must be cheaper than normal because you can buy out buildings normally. So I'm assuming this is cheaper than what it would be to buy that level of production. So I guess I'll just go with it. We've got some walls now here. We're a little low on cash again, so I might just... I just take a couple of turns to build up some money. You're building those. You're building a vendor. You're building a market. Okay, so we're just gonna sit for a second here, or we won't be able to afford to build any units or anything when we if we need them. Alright, we'll get some cloud in a bottle. I love this one. Three hex cone pushes units back. That one's good for well, actually, your melee. Um, I think I have a. Uh, are you the ranger? Yeah, I'll give you the cloud in the bottle. So that way, if you get, you know, people stuck to you, you can just get get rid of them. Actually, I think I might unequip that. Put it on the support character. Oh, that takes a turn now. Whoops. Okay, that's as close as we can get for now. So we've got, yeah, pretty 11 citizens. My capital has 10, so she's not that far ahead, actually. They have nine, and his capital has seven. So she's definitely ahead, but not by that much. Rallying Blessing gives Rally, Defense, and Resistance. This would be a good skill, I think. And then do you have... Nope. Vigor. Twin Awakening, Restore, Inspiring. Let's get Vigor. Why is this, um... That's weird. What, what is this? Look at this. There's like a, like a fog wall right here that we can't go into for some reason. It's pretty strange. Convent, city stability that gives knowledge and mana. And new research, staves of mending. This will give support units faithful and mending touch. Always hits, but it's a it's so it doesn't cost an action point. It's only 15 health, and it's range one, but it is you know free. We also have faithful whispers. Nope, inspiring chant. Friendly units in a two hex radius gain morale and become strengthened if they have zeal, which I think we enchanted people to have zeal. So let's do that one. Legion of zeal. Okay. Lutton's Bay can annex. So we need another farm. We can also get something down here. These farms suck because they're swamps. Um, I'll grab this. This will give me. Can I? Hello? Hello? There we go. So I get a little vision down here as well. And now there's a gold mine here. Really curious what's going to happen with our diplomacy here. Everybody hates me. That's normal. Noctis really hates me. What is what is all of your problem with me, to be honest? Rivalry. They don't like my alignment and they're threatened. Um, these guys 
have a rivalry. They don't like my large domain and they don't like my threatening level and my alignment. Great. These guys, they don't like my grievances. They, we have a clashing affinities and I'm threatening. Great. And here, once again, threatened alignment, larger domain. Dang. So I'm the bad guy actually of this planet. Turns out I was the bad guy the whole time. Whoops. Daylight spear. You can produce food there. You're just producing merchandise. While we build up some cash. And then in one turn we'll have this dust hunter and then we'll go down below. We'll have uh, two stacks of six. You, know, you are mostly healed up. Let's go find something to fight. Like this guy here, blocking the way. Um, bind the Inferno Puppy. No thanks. Just kill them all. Retry that one. No reason to lose that fanatic there. And we have spells. Okay, that's a lot of puppies. Um, we don't have any real defense, although we have this ability. That'll be helpful. So we want to get you sort of in the middle. These full health guys. Um, I gotta do it next turn because I went too far. We'll do the awakening next turn too. Are these those pillars, do these pillars grant damage? I don't think they do. Magically charged. Yeah, they do. Standing adjacent to it gives lightning damage on attacks. Destroying it will deal 20 damage to adjacent units. Okay. All right, and then we want to awaken everybody. And then we want to cast one hex awakening and strengthening. There we go, lots of buffs. There we go, everybody's looking nice and strong now. What's this repeating attack up to? 16, it's pretty good. Um, and then we don't need to heal. We can actually just let them come to us because we'll be in defense mode. We have minus resistance from diseased. What the fuck, why am I diseased? Where is the disease coming from? Am I stupid? <laughs> okay, you guys are probably losing your goddamn minds in the chat. But like, I don't understand. High culture. Quick reflexes. Ferocious. Why are we diseased? Am I missing something? Where did it come from? What the fuck? Where is this coming from? Why are you guys diseased all the time? Does this give out disease? These are just beaters. What about you? Does this war give out disease? No? No? Diseased. Wait, are you permanently diseased? Wait. Fast recuperation, sneaky. Why are you plague bearer? This unit starts combat permanently diseased. Why are you permanently diseased? I, why did I recruit you? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna... Don't know what to do about that. I'm just giving my units minus four resistance. It's not helping. Look at that, minus two. So he goes in defense mode and now he just takes normal damage from all the elements. What the fuck? What? Oh my god, the disease is spreading. 
Well, don't worry, the morale is spreading too. They're really happy. I'm so fucked. Like I, said, I mean, instead of having plus a plus four to resist all this fire damage, they have zero. It would be taking like 30% less damage from the fire part. Damn it. Ow, stop it. It hurts. Wait, are they all. What? Do your arrows. Why did you. Why were they. They were like. Um, they had like slow movement for a second. Why was that? What is going on? Everything is is completely fucked in this ba uh, in this battle. At least you can heal through disease, and like decaying, which is the bane of my existence. God damn, they do. These are tier ones doing this Dutch damage. That's insane. Oh my god, twenty damage. Oh my god. This this tier ones did sixty damage that turn. No fuck. All right, let's get a sprint. Yeah, I can get some, ooh, yeah, I can get some serious fucking damage in here. Look at that. Stat, oh, I got a crit. Oh, one hit, 75, 75 damage. 75 damage, whoa. That's awesome. Beat him. Good lord. Dude, fanatics are awesome. In terms of DPS, they suck ass at defending. Especially when they're diseased all the time for some reason. I don't know who did that. Uh, okay. Oh god, orders required. So we're just waiting one more turn, then we're gonna we're gonna set out. Um I would love I'm just gonna oh, look at this. She's not expanded here at all, so I can just get right in here and take a look. Same with this this one. I might I might stick this one on auto so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Other ruler start a war. Oh, what? That's not who I thought it was gonna be. Why? Why have you started this war? Now wait a minute, you're here. Is this is that them? Let me actually not have you on auto after all. I'm gonna go see what's going on. This is good. This might pit them against the, each other so that in a way that makes me come out on top. Ooh, mana. You guys like my cup? It says, too cute to spook. That's me. That's actually my spouse's. Okay, so let's go here, here. 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 Okay, this army is pretty shit. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. Um, it's fine. We got the numbers. These guys are well experienced. These ones, do we have? No, we don't have the experience thing yet. So these guys are pretty fresh, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to build anything there. You guys um, actually cleared out this area pretty well. There's a couple things over here. So let's, let's grab... Let's get back in here. We know these guys need all the health they can get because I'm going to disease them every turn. The mint would be boosted with three farms, but we're not going to get that. Stonemason might be good with two farms. We could grab a farm next turn. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, maybe up there. Okay, so this one... Well, let's actually, let's, yeah, I want to see what's going on down here, like, pretty badly. So they're not, I wonder, I wonder who started the war, you know? So then we'll head this way with that scout. This scout, I'm going to try to get around down into here and get as much information on what their city looks like at this point and if there's any enemies around. Inspiring chat. Chat? Inspiring chat? Inspire me in the chat, everybody. Go ahead. Um, Tome of Okay, let's see here. So, we want... Let's check if we can get... 
Oh, there, you have to scroll. Oh my god, you have to scroll for that one. Okay. We can get Tome of the Inquisition or Tome of the Beacon. The Tome of the Beacon has Conjure Divine Beacon. It heals um, and gains mor gives morale out. I do like this. This is pretty cool. We got Blessed Reinforcements to give a vassal of Blessed Souls, which doesn't help us. So we just we'll skip that one. Covenant of the Faith. Units recruited through Rally of the Lieges from target vassal have Faithful. So that's not helpful. Lightbringer and then Mighty Meek. Uh, grants enchanted units, which is all tier ones, faithful, and then they do extra damage to higher tier units. Um, I, that's tempting. Let's look at Inquisition, though, because this sounds more like us. Tribunal. Inquisitor's Mark. This is an enchantment for range units that can condemn, weaken, or slow. Oh, I like that. Inquisitors are great. Army. Yeah, 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 we'll go with this one. Inquisition. Yeah, if you've watched my um, Skirmisher's Deep Dive for Age of Wonders 4, uh, I talk a lot about the Inquisitor and its strengths and weaknesses, but I think, I think this is going to be the game for them. So let's select the Tome of the Inquisition, pop that bad boy open, the unrighteous shall and select the, the one-turn Inquisitor. Unrighteous. Absolutely. Next, another province, eh? I do want to head this way. Uh, we need the mana. Conduits. I'm going to piss him off, but there's nothing, nothing I can do about it at this point. Why are you guarding this? Oh, you've got a city right here. It is right there. And now he's sort of trapped. I'm sort of blocking him. He's got to go up around here to get out of here. <laughs> I do want these haste berries. I'm going to head over there and see if there's anybody guarding it. And then down here as well. Ruler was denounced. Arctic has crossed me. Oh yeah, shit's hitting the fan now, everybody. Shit is starting to hit the fan. Everybody's everybody's totally pissed off with everybody else. Alright, let's get down below. Oops, that's not the that's not the thing. I could settle down here. Because I could get this Roaring Furnace. We're mostly healed up, so we're heading off. I think up here there's a couple uh, stacks up there. We do want to grab a farm. First sowing of the season has passed and returned to you a pleased flesh cooker's council deputy. A grand day for the flesh cookers, the deputy proclaims. With this new farmland, our people thrive and our cities will expand greatly. Your wisdom truly knows no bounds, chef. The council of the flesh cookers is grateful. Your people are grateful for the prosperity and gather to hear your wisdom. What message do you proclaim to your flesh cookers? So we get stability. Yep, because they're, they, they're always hungry. So now we're, we're helping them with that. Nurture the crops. We can get population. We can get food in all of our cities. It's actually a lot of food. Uh, magic, six turns, we would gain a buttload of magic or military draft. Let's go with the food. That's going to have the long-term benefit. You guys at war? No. You just look like you're at war because you're standing next to each other with armies for some reason. Uh -huh. Arctica has no frostlings. Why do they have? Why do they have mounted? Um, wild speakers are those naturally mounted? They're war shamans. What are, what's a wild speaker? Oh yeah, it is naturally um, 
Oh, these are the the animal guys. Okay, I, I thought they were the. I misunderstood what I was looking at. Okay, it's got cool staves though. These guys in the back. What do I? This guy. Oh, it's just really tall. So this guy's conjure animals. Gives animals a lot of power, and then caretaker animals in this army require less upkeep. Okay, cool. I've I've never built these actually. I guess I feel like I've never seen them before. So. Uh -huh. Arctica also has just some standard guys, a Berserker. These guys are dangerous, of course. Just warriors, just basic shield guys. They look like Frostlings. Okay, cool. Let's head down here. Okay, it's been cleared out, so we'll just go back to the city for now. Burden of Guilt. Enemy army sustains damage and loses points on the world map. Faithful introduces unit upkeep and healing touch. Sure. An extra heal on those guys is fine. Buttons Bay. Um, I do want to grab this just to make this faster because I'm noticing it's taken a long time to go from this city to this city. I can't go out that way without the Hall of Light. There's a production. I could also just quarry this and then it would give me like a ton of production. Let's do that. Infestation sending forces. Well, perfect timing because I've got defense ready to go. And then we'll end turn. So we will, we will wait for those forces. We will cut our unit's teeth on those, get them some experience. Um, okay, Logar, we are now at war with, so that's going to be a problem. Um, okay, so he chose, he chose a good time to do that because my forces are all off doing things. Okay, let's bring you guys up. That's fanatical workforce, this city. And get the Caltrip stash uh, up in the front here. And then we're out of money at the moment. Is anybody not doing anything? Yeah, just make money. Just make money. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of inchy squinchy my way down here. Just kind of want to see, like, I know I don't want to be close enough that whatever's coming will trigger any other wandering units. I might just back up. I'm just going to back up, block off this pathway. There's no way they can get to me. All right, let's see what you guys have going on down here. Okay. Empire... All your units regain health and non-hero units gain a rank. Vassals, no, we don't have that. We don't have that. Uh, down here we have Forced March, Extra Vision. I will grab that now. What does it give? Your units and cities gain plus two vision range and plus three sensing range. Just feel like I don't see any further than I did before from these guys. I guess it's because their normal range is only three right now or whatever. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But your city's got plus two range. I don't feel like I can see more in here, but I, I must be able to and I just didn't notice it. Um, so nothing we can do about that at the moment. We're sending up another army. I can't really afford to build any more units at the moment, so I'm going to make do with spells and the two stacks that I have. If I can push these guys out, I may then have an opportunity to take out Borton while they're just not that strong. Let's check their power compared to me. Their overall ranking is fourth in military and I am second 
but of course my units are split so I have to be careful of that okay so let's end this episode here because we're out of time on um, the next episode we will get these guys up here together and then we will start trying to take out some of their groups of forces if we can get them alone that would be really good and then we'll hopefully we could strike at Borton that would be amazing if we could get Borton under our control uh, I would actually probably keep that city rather than vassalize it and then have a lot of spit well but i want this shifting spire at some point too i don't know i don't know we'll see what happens when we get there so thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you're enjoying this series uh actually i will also be fighting these neutrals here they come actually um so yeah so thank you everybody so much for watching hope you're enjoying this series if you are like and subscribe i would really appreciate that come on back for the next episode we might have some some drama some drama happening on the underground and the overworld uh, check out the link in my description of the video for my Patreon if you want to support the channel. I would really appreciate that as well, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.